100.9 The Cat, number one for New Country. It's Pete Kelly here hanging out with Craig Wayne Boyd yeah. from uh, Season 7 of The Voice. <laughs> we were just doing a voice check a couple seconds ago, and we kept going back and forth and sounded... It's the inner George Jones. you got to get it. <laughs> and uh, I want to get first off, because uh, a few days ago, Blake Shelton was named People Magazine's uh, Sexiest Man Alive. I saw that. I tweeted him out on, on that. I was like, all right. What's, what's up, buddy? Yeah, so what do you think about that? Is that the reaction? Like, all right, what are they thinking? Or do you think it's more personality? I, I do you think, think it's more I the... think People Magazine is now hashtag Team Blake. <laughs> so they've got a horse in the race then. Oh, so they must. You can't really trust them with the reporting now, with hey, the boys. you know what? People Magazine's been great to me, so I'm not going to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get, I didn't get uh, you know, Sexiest Man Alive, though. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, well, you got to work toward it, you Congrats know? to Blake. Yeah. So uh, you have a baby boy on the way That's in right. January. Now, how is that? Now, I saw the cardboard cutout. You showed me a photo of the cardboard <laughs> cutout back home. Now, I'm assuming you don't really have a lot of time you can spend at home. You're mostly on the road. Now, does your wife stay home? Yeah, that's my fill-in at home. That's my cardboard cutout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you know, uh, lately especially, I think we've been about 11 weeks out um, doing radio tour and, and press um, for this album that just came out on October 27th. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, Thank God for uh, you know technology because FaceTime and things like that. So I get to even when she's going to pick up my son, uh, my older son, from school, I, I get to be in the car, which is really cool. Yeah. Now uh, it's expecting around January, around uh, your birthday. I believe That's it is right. around that point. Um, my daughter stole my birthday almost two years ago <laughs> on December thirty first, and uh, the doctors are telling us that it looks like uh, my son's going to be due around about the same time. That's awesome. Uh, we're we're wondering if he's going to end up coming early or if it's going to end up with all three of us with the same birthday. Yeah, now that's all by chance, right? It, yeah. There, there was, was no, no there's no piece there of paper no writing I, down I, any... I think the only plan there was to go to the ACMs, and then that happens. <laughs> <laughs> the noops, well, you know. Uh, well, it's a nice extra reward from yeah, it, right? so it worked out pretty well. Uh, now, your album Top Shelf just came out a few weeks ago. I believe it was uh, late October, October 27th? That's right. Okay. I have a horrible memory, so I don't know how I remember that. But <laughs> All right, so October 27th. So what took so long? Because you won The Voice in December uh, 2014. That's right. What took so long for you to come out with your debut album? What took about three years for that to happen? Um, I Right off the bat, um, I went into the studio and started an album and was very, very excited about it. And I, I thought that uh, we had a home for it and everything was going to be rocking right along. And uh, when that was falling apart for us, um, I just did what I know to do, and that's to go out and play music for people. So the first year I did like 240 some odd shows. Uh, the second year um, I was hitting 180. Wow, a um, little over 180. Um, and th- at the beginning of this year, I looked up. You know, I was I'm one of those nose to the grindstone. Let's road warrior. Let's go rock it out. Um, and I looked up. I was like, dude, I still haven't put out this music. <laughs> um, so I really focused on that this year. Um, we found a home for the music um, this past March, and I went back in the studio and added some stuff because. The album wasn't quite where I was at in my life at this point because during those past two and a half years, I've gotten married. And, yep. of course, like you said, I have a beautiful daughter uh, in addition to my son. And, and uh, then we had the another one on the way. It was like, man, life is not quite the same. Yeah. So we were able to go in there and freshen it up and, and uh, add some stuff in there that really made it feel like it is me. Now, when you were performing on the road for the new album, how many songs would you say were ones that you're performing over that insane amount of tour dates that you were doing there going all across the country? Um, how many songs do you say are new stuff that you just put on the album now or stuff that you've been performing over the last three years? Um, there are only two songs um, from the first batch um, that made it onto the new album. Wow. I, I really went in there and, and uh, honed what was going to go on this album. That's great. And one of those songs uh, we played a f- about a month ago with our new It Too, and we're going to play it again today, uh, Stuck in My Head. So what made you decide to put this out as your latest single? Uh, Stuck in My Head actually came from the original batch of songs. Um, It was the very first song that I recorded for this album, and it kind of set the tone for everything else that's on this one, and that's the reason we chose to put it out. And uh, now if you weren't, I know you've been doing country music for a while. I mean, even before going on The Voice, you were working for about 10 years, I would say, working in Nashville. I moved out to Nashville about 2004, so... So if, let's say, country music never worked out, or let's say you gave up on your dream, which we're glad that you didn't, but let's say you did, <laughs> what career do you think you would have tried pursuing? Where do you think you would have gone? Oh, my goodness. I never really looked at it as uh, ever having a second uh, thought, but I guess one of my interests would be uh, I love to cook. 
Really? I, I would I would probably try to get into the restaurant business. So do you do much cooking at home? What kind of I stuff? I do. I'm I am the I'm the primary cook at my home at my home. So my wife is starving right now. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of stuff do you like to cook? What I, do you gravitate toward? Oh my goodness! I everything imaginable. Um, I got to be home um, about a week ago for our baby shower, and I came in and did all the catering for it. Um, I did uh, like specialty deviled eggs that I did an Asian version that had like ginger uh, and uh, sriracha on it um another one that was a mexican style i took the uh the red onions and uh, soaked them in lime juice along with cilantro and uh, parmesan cheese on the top they were amazing and i haven't had anything since breakfast so that sounds way too good right <laughs> now. That's torture. Now? <laughs> yeah that's torture so let's say if food network were to offer you a show right now would you take it um right now i'm really concentrated on getting this music out Okay, but, so that's uh, priority number yeah, one. Yeah, that's then. priority number one. But it would definitely be uh, flattering, and and I would probably entertain the idea. All right, awesome. And f- the final question I got for you, if uh, based on the three years uh, since The Voice, I mean, obviously being on The Voice and being around Blake Shelton was awesome, and I'm super jealous about that. <laughs> uh, what do you think is the coolest thing that you've been able to do over the last three years? Oh, my goodness. Um that's hard to say because there's been so many great things that I've been able to do. I was uh, I got to sing the national anthem for uh, it was like they said it was aired on 97 countries across the the world. Wow, um, that was really cool to be in Aspen, Colorado for for the uh, I think it was for the uh, downhill championships, uh, world championships. That was really cool. Um, but I think I would have to go back to uh, January 2nd of 2015 was my Opry debut. And walking out on that stage for the very first time ever, um, I'd never even visited there. Yeah. So to walk out on that stage and get to do that and since been able to do it about 30 some odd times. Wow. Um, and they just invited me back for a Christmas Eve this year for my third year in a row for Christmas Eve. So that's probably the coolest thing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, uh, we're going to have one song you're going to perform uh, off your new album somewhere in there. So set yeah. up that song. So. What is this song about? This song is uh, one that we originally set out to be a duet on the album. Um, and we had uh, talked to uh, one of my fellow uh, reality stars that are, are singers, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was tied up with a new TV show that she has out, if that gives you any kind of hint. <laughs> uh, and she couldn't make it in back into Nashville for the studio. And uh, instantly called me like two days after I'd already done what I'm about to tell you about. Um, I called my wife and said, babe... Can you be at the studio in like 45 minutes? You're about to sing. And so <laughs> she came in and sang it with me. And uh, incidentally, I did get the phone call like two days after that. I was like, sweetie, I had to turn in the album already. <laughs> I was like, ah. But you know what? It turned out the best because uh, my wife, this is kind of our story. And uh, I remember the very first time I saw her, I turned to my buddies and was like, I'm going to marry her. Watch. This is going to happen. And, uh, of course, I did. Um, this song's called Somewhere in There. Might be the second you come down the stairs and I'm out there picking you up. It might be before I open that door and help you climb up in my truck. It might be when the sun comes on and you're lost in the radio. I don't know when, but all I know is my lips are gonna land on yours, your hands gonna slide in mine. One's gonna lead to one more, one more's gonna turn it to all night between the sun going down. And it coming back around You can bet if I'm with you I'm gonna kiss you Somewhere in there Oh, somewhere in there Might happen fast if I make you laugh Stumbling over all my words Or it might be when the bus kicks in And I finally work up the nerve But if it ain't until I take you home Sitting in your drive Maybe that's alright If it takes all night My lips are gonna land on yours Your hand's gonna slide in mine One's gonna lead to one more One more's gonna turn it to all night Between the sun going down And it coming back around You can bet if I'm with you I'm gonna kiss you Somewhere in there Yeah, I'll just know it when that moment's right As soon as those blue eyes give me that green light My lips are gonna land on yours Your hand's gonna slide in mine 
One's gonna lead to one more, one more's gonna turn into all night, yeah. My lips are gonna land on yours, your hand's gonna slide in mine. One's gonna lead to one more, one more's gonna turn into all night. Between the sun going down and it coming back around, you can bet if I'm with you, I'm gonna kiss you somewhere in there. Oh, somewhere in there Somewhere in there Yeah, somewhere in there Greg Wayne Boy, thank you so much for joining us. Your new album, Top Shelf, is in stores right now. That's right. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother.